On to a CNBC TV 18 exclusive, India's food safety regulator has received lab reports on MDH and Everest spices. Now, the regulator decided to test the samples after Singapore and Hong Kong had imposed restrictions on the products sold by these companies, citing traces of ethylene oxide, which is believed to be a carcinogen. Now, sources say 28 out of the 34 lab reports received by the food regulator show no traces of ethylene oxide. Timsey joins us now with more. Timsey, let's also understand this matter. Uh, because what is sold in the domestic market are spices that have not been sanitized. And we know that ethylene oxide is used for sanitization. Sanitization is of exports. So FSSAI hasn't tested export samples, right? India's food safety regulator FSSAI has received lab reports on MDH, Everest and other spices which the regulator had decided to test the samples after Singapore and Hong Kong had imposed restrictions on the products sold by Everest and MDH citing traces of ethylene oxide which is believed to be a carcinogen. Sources say 28 out of 34 lab reports received by the FSSAI show no traces of ethylene oxide. However, results are still awaited of remaining six lab reports. FSSAI, the food regulator is responsible for testing of food safety of products which are sold domestically and not for exports and ethylene oxide is used for sanitizing only exports and ethylene oxide is banned in India. Sources categorically mentioned that lab reports have been examined by a scientific panel at FSSAI and the panel has observed that the samples do not show traces of ethylene oxide. FSSAI had picked up nine samples of Everest spices from two manufacturing facilities, one in Maharashtra, the other in Gujarat for testing and similarly FSSAI had picked up 25 samples from MDH from their 11 manufacturing facilities, one in Delhi, seven from Haryana and three from Rajasthan for testing. Apart from Everest and MDH, test reports of over 300 of spices of other brands of which samples were picked up across the country were also examined by the food regulators scientific panel and the panel conclusively indicated that there is no presence of ethylene oxide in these samples too. Just to remind our viewers, FSSAI, the regulator, had initiated a pan-India level drive through all commissioners of food safety of states, UTs and regional directors on 22nd April, taking cognizance of reports on recall of Indian spices by several countries. We'll keep you posted what happens on the remaining six lab reports. All right.